Hi everyone, I'm Audrey and this is It's On. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm really glad you're all here. So in today's video, we are going to do a note meal cookie with carob chips. Um, I love uh, this video. She's a YouTuber and a, um, a food blogger. Her name is Natalie and she's at Feasting on Fruit is her, is her site. She does pretty much all desserts, 95% desserts, and it's um, all, for the most part, it's vegan. Uh, and just really healthy ingredients. So I loved her long before I became AIP and one of my favorite cookies of hers was an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie and she used almond butter, uh, we would use peanut butter, but she would use basically a nut butter and oatmeal and um, big dark chocolate chunks, so delicious. All of those things we can't enjoy on AIP. So I just, I've renovated her recipe um, and I'll put the link to her site down below too so you can check her out if you want. But I've renovated that recipe um, with tiger nut flakes and tiger nut powder like flour uh, with uh, homemade carob chips, I'll show you that. And in the video you'll see I'll do it two ways. Um, I have been able sometimes, rarely though, to get store-bought carob chips unsweetened that are AIP compliant. They're hard to find though, so I've given you those. If you can find them in your country where you live, great. Um, but I also make carob chocolate myself, so, uh, and it's just like in the, I think I have like a peanut butter cup video, it's the same thing, and it's basically um, three parts uh, ro like roasted carob powder to two parts coconut oil. You um, whisk that together till it's smooth and then you just put it in whatever mold you want and freeze it until it's solid. Um, I just did this in little square molds you'll see in the video. I chopped it up so it was like nice big dark chocolate chunks and put it in the cookie. So I'm going to show you both um, of those. It's the same base recipe. You just choose which kind you want to do. Um, anyone can make the carob uh, chips at home so that's super easy. I think you can even buy on Amazon these little like silicone molds that look just like the you know the chips like um, a chip it or a Nestle's Toll House chocolate chip. So if you want to get really fancy and do it so that it looks exactly the same you can always buy those molds too. I don't have those but I have seen them uh, and they look like a lot of fun. So without much more chatter let's get bacon. Asher's with me since it's a sweet, you know, that's his favorite. So I'm going to show you both of these cookies. They look slightly different. Again, it's the same base. So this is the one with um, the store-bought chocolate chips or the store-bought carob chips unsweetened. This is the one with the uh, chocolate chunks that I made. I think this one actually looks better um, just because I like that sort of not perfectly perfect looking cookie. Um, but we're gonna taste test them side by side and see if there's much difference or if one tastes better than the other or if they're both good. Are you ready? Let's try the, um, let's try this one first. Okay. This is the, the store-bought um, unsweetened carrot chips. Mm. 
And these cookies are crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm. Mm. Oh, good enough for two bites. Put that one down. Let's try the other one. Okay, those are really good. I, I like those tons. Let's try the dark chocolate chocolate. Would probably be good in milk. Mm hmm. Mm. I like these ones too. I think they're about the same, wouldn't you say? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As he shoves a cookie in his mouth. They're about the same. So, really, um, I will do the chocolate chunks probably going forward just because, again, finding um, AIP compliant unsweetened carob chips is actually kind of hard to do. Um, I got lucky. Uh, on that batch and actually where I got them from I know you'll ask me it, they don't have them anymore so there's no point in me advertising it for them um, but I would go for the homemade chocolate chunks and like I said if you want you can get one of those molds and just put it in the little chip it molds and then it looks just like chocolate chips so we're gonna eat these um, you're gonna have some milk with yours some almond Probably. milk okay and we'll just see you in the next video thanks everybody Oh, <laughs>